let me explain why. Because you've been here before, right? You've heard the speech before. And it's strange because in the world of baseball, it's very rare that a baseball hitter will be batting a thousand, right? Which means every single time that they're there, they hit the ball. And you know, I'm not a music critic, and maybe there's performances. I know you internalize a lot. You do after actions on your concerts. And maybe there's been concerts where it's a single or a double or a triple. I viewed every concert I've heard since I've been associated with this group as a home run. That's the way I view it. Maybe I don't have an ear for music, you may say. Maybe I don't catch those laxes that occur out there. But today, it's easy. Because until now, you hit the ball. Tonight, that's what we expect from you. You're up at the plate, it's coming at you, and you're going to hit it. Later on, we'll talk about it over a beer later tonight and say, you know, was it really that good? In reality, at the end of the day, what do you portray to the audience that's sitting here? Portray the Commission Corps of the United States Public Health Service. You don't portray the ensemble, right? You don't portray a clarinet player, right? You don't portray a keyboard player. You don't portray a soprano or an alto, a tenor. You're, you're not here as individuals. And what the group out there sees, they see the commission core in front of them. Today I was reflecting with Rihanna Momorotsuku as we were showing pictures during the award ceremony. One picture really brought back a fond memory. And it was in fact one of my favorite gigs of all. This was the gig at the Air and Space Museum. Remember? Difficult <coughs> acoustics and all that. But we wowed them. Remember? Remember the people lined up overlooking you on the ground floor? But the most important part of that event, and what really sort of reminded me was, I'm sitting there, and the guy next to me, I've told this story before, but the guy next to me is Vice Admiral Cowan, retired, former Navy wow. Surgeon General. He was there as the representative of the Association of Military Surgeons of the United States. And about three quarters of the way through the concert, this Vice Admiral, Vice Admiral, I've already forgotten. That's a lot of stars. <laughs> I've not seen those number of stars on my shoulders, but that's a whole other editorial comment. <laughs> <laughs> but guy's the Surgeon General of the Navy. You know, he's DOD. And I remember three quarters of the way through this concert, what he does is he turns to me with tears in his eyes. I don't even remember what song being sung or played, but he was touched to the core. And, and what he said to me, in almost this nirvana moment for him, was, you know, Boris, what you guys, what you, and this is the plural you, this is the we, it's not one person, what you have created is a real uniform service. I remember that he portrayed us of what they viewed us in the days when he was Surgeon General of the Navy. He said, you used to be a bunch of civilians at HHS in uniform. That's what we thought. And I'm not here to defend ourselves in terms of perceptions of the past, but what you did in those few minutes <coughs> was change a man's attitude realize the power you have by doing that? Today there's going to be people who have never heard you before. They'll be the usual groupies, right? <laughs> the usual gang out there that, you know, will do the way halfway through as they always do. The ones who come in with bare chest and spell out the HS on the <laughs> You know who they are. Mostly engineers. <laughs> <laughs> There's also going to be people who are first.
first timers here. And tonight you'll do the same thing all over again. Somewhere in that audience will be a person so touched that there will be tears in their eyes. And somewhere in their audience will be someone who said, I had no idea. You know, emotionally for me, this is a big concert. It's huge. Now, I've been associated with this group as an active duty officer since 2005. This is 10 years. Five of those years as the co-executive director, and five of those years just as a fan who happened to have a title and some stars on his shoulders. I've been blessed and honored to be asked on multiple occasions. You obviously can't, don't know a real talent because you keep asking me to come back to MC the event. <laughs> but that being said, I am honored and humbled to once again be the MC of tonight's event. For me, this is going to be an emotional event. But you know, in the future, I'll be in their audience there clapping, and I'll be the guy, maybe by myself, starting the wave. <laughs> and I'll be the guy with the bare chest, and I'll spell out the whole damn word PHS. <laughs> In ten years, a decade, you have made me proud not to be the acting surgeon general, not to be the deputy surgeon general, not to be a rear admiral upper half, not to be a rear admiral lower half. But as I keep emphasizing, 